Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Have you ever wondered where psychopathic ice cream men who have the power to freeze people with their breath live? Well, today, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Ice Cream. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I know that we need to play the game on extreme mode and see if I can save Chubby Chucky on extreme mode, but before we try that, I've got a very special little tool here. If you guys have watched any of my granny series, you probably recognize this menu right here. This is none other than Outwit's menu for ice cream. This is super, super cool, and go support Outwit. Tell him that I sent you. I will have a link in the description down below so you can go check out his channel. But look at this thing. Look at all these things that we can do. It's beautiful. Look, we can kill Rod. What? What does that even mean? If I kill Rod, will he ever come back? I'm going to try. He's dead. He just died. He just died right in front of us. He's, he's no longer living. Rod, are you okay? What happened? Someone pressed a button. And you fell over. Such power. I have such power. So let's see, what else do we have? Teleports Rod to me. <laughs> his, his limp, unconscious body just appears in front of me. Teleport me to Rod. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Of course, we can mess with the time scale so we can slow time down. If I go up in the time scale, uh, oh, it makes him faster. Okay, so going down goes into slow motion. Look at him. Could you imagine playing through the entire game like this? It would take like three hours. What is Rod scale? Is that? Oh my gosh. Can we turn Rod into a giant? <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Now he's not only the world's scariest ice cream man, but he's also the world's largest ice cream man. I'm gonna send him back to normal size. <laughs> he's, he's a little scary, a little intimidating when he's 12 feet tall or 20 feet, whatever that was. What is this scene menu? We can just go to different places to, oh, what? I can just instantly teleport to all the different areas. That's, that's pretty cool actually. But now what is this game over? Rod's house loaded, what? Is this for real? I can move around. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have actually seen this. You probably haven't seen it from my videos because I've never actually shown a game over in ice cream. Not because I've never gotten a game over, but mostly because I just didn't record those experiences. Like when I was practicing and stuff, trying to learn the game, I died a lot. So this is the game over scene, and this is actually Rod's house here. Why is he just frozen in time? That's kind of freaking me out. It says, Rod Sullivan, the recipe for happiness is within everyone's reach. Yay. His recipe for happiness is children turned into ice cream. <laughs> what a guy. But look at this house. What in the world? What a creep. He's got a giant face of himself right next to his house. Where does this man get all this money? Like, who does this? I guess Rod does. I guess that's quite literally the answer. Now, can we go inside of it? No, it doesn't look like we can actually go inside. This is still really cool, though. Let's see what we can do. What happens if I teleport Rod to me? No, he's, he's not here. He's frozen in time and space. What about items? Can I bring items here? Oh my gosh. I, okay, yeah, I have pliers now. What are you gonna do about that, Rod? I have the power to conjure any item I will into existence, even in a game over. Spawn Charlie. So Charlie is the chubby kid, and he looks like he's eating an invisible pizza. Like the whole pizza. Oh, you know what it is? He's in the cage but he's not actually in a cage. So I wonder if the object menu kind of works the same way as it did in Granny. I think it does. F.W. Gordy? Is that Charlie Chuck? I can't call him Charlie in good conscience. Charlie is a spider, okay? This, this is Charlie. 
That on the screen, that is Chuck. If the developers don't like it, deal with it. This is now canon. I'm sorry I'm getting so aggressive. What can I do to this guy? Can I- I can make him bigger. Oh, yes. That is a very large Chuck. Rotate. What? What the heck? Oh, gosh. What have I done? Oh, Chuck! Chuck, it's just your butt. I don't think he's okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Then his legs just stick it out of the ground. And then I can rotate him on the Z-axis as well. Oh, wow. This is... This is very strange. I kind of love it. Chuck, are you okay? I kind of flipped you all around. Sorry about that, buddy. I can create more? <gasps> oh my gosh. It's an army of Chucks. What in the world is happening? Can I change the size of all the Chucks? No, I can only change the size of one Chuck. But then I can make another giant Chuck. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. I've gone too far with the Chuck cloning. Let's actually go into no clip mode. We can fly through walls using this. And I wonder, ooh, we can go inside of Rod's house. Let's see what's inside. Nothing. <laughs> okay. I'm not too surprised by that. Technically, you're never supposed to see any of this, right? This is all behind the scenes. Oh, but look, there's the refrigerator freezer. So this is the freezer that you see when you get the game over screen. Presumably, uh, we are inside of this freezer. I don't know if I can actually, come on, just, no, well, no. I kind of wanted to see what was actually inside. It's just darkness and nothing. So maybe we are okay after all, but probably not. All right, what other kinds of shenanigans can we get into? Let's go back to the cafeteria. Are you gonna, are you gonna let me get, <gasps> no, it's not gonna let me get back. Okay, I think I have to reset. All right, we're back. Let's go into no clip mode and uh, let's do some more exploring of our surroundings, shall we? This is what I assume is our house, but I always thought it was kind of weird that uh, we're locked in our own house. That's just, that's just strange. Also, uh, the rest of the house is uh, not really there. So maybe that's why we are locked in our room. I think all the houses are gonna probably be that way. Let's just fly up. And wait a second, what is that over there? That tree looks like it's glowing. Why is this tree glowing? Okay, that's a little strange. I did notice though in the menu, uh, not only can we spawn Charlie, but we can also spawn Rod's van. <laughs> like, why? I guess the better question is, why not? If I go into the object menu, can I manipulate this thing? I totally can. I can make a giant ice cream van, the likes of which the world has never seen. Oh dear. Oh goodness. What, what, what have I done? This ice cream van is now bigger than the mountains. <laughs> oh man, this is dumb and I love it. If by chance you're new to the channel, this is something that I do with a lot of games, and I love doing it. Twisting and poking at all kinds of things that you shouldn't be in games is, is a pastime of mine. What can I say? And I love that we have tools created like the Outwit mods that allow us to do that in very, very simple ways. I mean, literally, I just have to press a button and I can return the giant van back to its normal size. It's, it's magical. All right, let's explore the other area, shall we? Let's go to the cafeteria and we'll fly around, see what's going on. Here we go, up into the sky. So really, each of these scenes, as they're called in the in the mod kit, are just like little set pieces, all separated from each other. Because literally, you can't fly from one to the other, can you? I mean, if I fly off in this direction, am I eventually gonna find the other scenes? Oh, you know what I should do? Since I'm out here in nothing land, I should bring Rod to us. Teleport Rod to me. Hello, Rod. Welcome to the plane of nothing. It's kind of amazing that you're walking around. If I turn off uh, no clip, am I gonna am I gonna fall? Wait, wait. Where am I going? Are we are we falling? You're falling too. Oh, that is very strange. So he was floating. 
And then when I turned no clip off, he was falling. Very weird. Let's go to the next scene, shall we? All right, I got to turn no clip back on. Let's do this through the walls. All right. Whoa, there's trees here. Can you actually see these trees? Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. But you can't go past these, right? I don't think you can. Let's see. Oh, you can. Oh, but then you can't go any further. There's an invisible wall. And that sort of makes sense, because if you go past it, <laughs> suddenly the floor disappears. Do you think there's anything in any of the other storage crates? Because we know that one of them actually has stuff in it, but the rest of them are just empty spaces, aren't they? Yeah, that's what it totally looks like. Which one actually has stuff in it, though? It's really hard to tell from here. I think it's on the first floor, and I don't know if it actually changes from play to play. 235? No, still not the one. Maybe it doesn't actually appear as an actual room until you get the key. That would be interesting. Let's get a bird's eye view of this area. That's pretty cool. You can pretty much see everything. What is this over here? Oh, it's just more storage. Empty storage units. Wait a second. This one. This seems different, right? This does seem different. 201. Huh. That one has like a square around it. I don't know why. You notice the air conditioning duct is still viewable when we're kind of flying through the sky. I wonder if the developers ever intend for us to be able to like crawl through the, the ducts. That would be kind of cool. Let's move on to the playground. Welcome to the playground. Also the gas station, which definitely is weird. I like how there's a gas pump just hanging out in a playground behind a broken wall. It's very strange. Is there anything on this side of the fence? It doesn't look like it. Just kind of flying around the outside, seeing if there's anything interesting out here. Mostly it's just hedges and walls of nothingness. There's the weird sewer pipe that you have to crawl through. Gets you over to the other side. Wait, wait a second. Why is there nothing in between these two areas? Could I, in theory, just just walk over? What? It's not supposed to work that way, right? There's something wrong here. <laughs> Typically, uh, you have to crawl through the sewer to get to this side. That is very interesting. Also, the guard's jacket is over here. I've never seen the guard's jacket over here. Interesting. We've got one more scene, which is the stall. And this is what I thought was where Rod lives, but this is just like a creepy storage facility for him. He actually lives in a giant house with his giant face on it. So if you ever wonder which house is Rod's, if you're ever looking around the neighborhood, just look for the one that has a giant version of his face in his front yard. This area is probably the smallest of all of them. And oh, you know what? Actually, this is kind of interesting. I never noticed there's a building right next to it. It is empty, but you know, it's there, but otherwise, not a ton to see here. He does have a hammock that I guess he he chills out in from time to time, you know, while he's waiting for the children to, to freeze completely. That's a grim thought. But nothing really here that we haven't seen before. I gotta say, this is pretty stinking cool. There's definitely more stuff that we can mess around with in the mod tool, like we can make rod clones. That would be an interesting little challenge. Ice cream rod clone challenge, 100 rods versus Kian. I don't know, maybe that's a future video, but I still think it's really cool that we can do this game over scene and we can actually walk around in his house, his front yard, his base of operation. Super creepy, super, super creepy. But there you have it guys, a little step away from uh, playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. But we'll come back to that. I'll definitely be trying the game on extreme mode. No cheats. I'm just not ready for it yet. Not quite there, but I'll get there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo on it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.